everyone. So since we made egg rolls last episode, I thought I should make a vegan fried rice using the leftover tofu from my breakfast scramble. We're gonna use the soft tofu to mimic the egg and we're gonna use the hard tofu to mimic the pork. So let's head to the kitchen and make a delicious plant-based fried rice. You a little sleepy? So the first thing you need to do to make fried rice is to have some cold cooked rice. So I made this earlier this morning and this is about three and a half cups of cooked brown rice. Why brown rice? <laughs> because it's healthier for you, it has more fiber and it's um, less calories than white rice and you're just getting more health benefits by using brown rice. So I choose to use brown rice. So I have cold brown rice all set. And then also, about an hour ago, I cut my tofu, my hard tofu, and I set it between paper towels so I could absorb as much moisture as I possibly can out of it. So now I have three slabs of tofu, which is a half of a hard tofu block. I have my oven preheated to 400 because we're gonna bake this tofu to dry it out. I'm gonna cut it into cubes to mimic the pieces of pork that you find in pork fried rice. And I'm gonna just spread them out on my parchment paper. Okay, so in order to crisp this up, we wanted to get it a little bit more firm than its typical texture. I'm gonna spray it with just a little olive oil to help crisp it up. Okay, this is my tofu after 20 minutes at 400. Now's the time that we wanna season it. You might think that you would wanna marinate tofu before putting it in the oven, but you really don't. The reality of it is that you want it to bake the moisture out before adding back more flavorful moisture. Because now what you have is kind of like a bunch of little dried out sponges ready to absorb flavor. If you try to marinate it when the tofu is super wet and moist still, it's not gonna properly crisp your tofu and it's not gonna give it the flavor that you desire, or I should say the texture that you would desire. So since we're trying to mimic pork, we wanted to dry this tofu out a little bit. So what I'm adding here is one teaspoon of soy sauce mixed with one teaspoon of liquid smoke. That's just kind of what I thought might give us some of that um, pork, replicated pork flavor. Okay, so now that I have the flavor all over it, I am going to put it back into the oven for another five to 10 minutes, depending on how quickly it starts crisping up again. And then it'll be ready for this fried rice. While the tofu is baking, you can prep all your other items, which I've already done to save time because there's a lot of ingredients in this pork fried rice or mock pork fried rice, I should say. So what I have here is baby peas. I have about a cup of baby peas. I have a half a cup of cut scallions, not from my garden. <laughs> I have a little over a cup of my garden carrots diced up. I have about a half a cup of onion, and I have to tell you, I'm really excited because I have a new cheat. These are frozen diced onions, and they're made right here in Michigan, Coloma, Michigan. Never knew I could find these in the freezer. These are gonna be my newest go-to to save time since I put onion in so much of my cooking. So for any of you that don't know, there's another shortcut out there, here it is diced onions in your freezer. The onions were a little over half a cup, so basically about one small onion worth. Two to three tablespoons of soy sauce, give or take, it's a personal preference. 
With three and a half cups of fried rice, I've got two and a half tablespoons. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. About a half a tablespoon of toasted sesame. And for those of you that have never toasted your own sesame seeds, it doesn't take very long. I almost burnt them. <laughs> so there's my little toasted sesame. And what I have here is no beef, beef broth because we're gonna start off our cooking in that. And I have my soft tofu, which right now we're going to season that up. Since my soft tofu is gonna be the egg replacement, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of turmeric to give it that yellow color. And for this, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on because we're not looking so much for the turmeric flavor as we are the color. And then just a little bit of the black salt. This will give it that egg flavor. If I were to guess, that's probably less than a teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon. And I'm just gonna stir that up because I'm just gonna throw that into my pan after I cook some of my vegetables in the rice. Okay, so we just have a little mixture that looks like scrambled egg replacement. Okay, my tofu only has a few more minutes to crisp up. So I'm heating up my pan. Three tablespoons. All right, I've got a hot pan with three tablespoons of broth in it, and I'm adding my carrots. The carrots are gonna need to cook the longest, so I'm putting those in first. All right, the carrots have been cooking for about five minutes, and I added more water, not just broth, because I didn't want everything to get too salty. So at this point, when it's still some moisture in the pan, I'm gonna go ahead and add my scallions, my onion, peas, Rice. Okay, I'm making, making like a little well in the middle. Put my tofu in there. Add the soy sauce. Garlic. Sure is looking like authentic fried rice. And here's my tofu. Look at those nice meaty pieces of tofu. Turn my stove down before I burn everything. Now I'm gonna sprinkle this with a little toasted sesame seeds. Mm. I wish you could smell through a camera. This smells so good. And it looks very authentic. So hopefully it tastes just as good. So give yourself a gold star if you notice the three changes in my kitchen this week. I painted my door black. Since we have all the black in the backsplash, I thought that would go better. We have a new sink faucet. Uh, Brian likes these pull down ones, so. And I painted my window white too. So all kinds of upgrades in my kitchen with um, having a cooking channel, kind of nice. So here goes. I have a confession to make. This is my first time making it live. I'm pretty darn sure it's gonna taste pretty good though. Mmm. 
good texture. The tofu is just a tiny bit firm because I ended up leaving it in just a little too long. So I would stick to 30 minutes with the tofu. By the time I pulled it out of the oven, it had been in there probably for a total of 40 minutes. Definitely a good hearty flavor though. I like it a lot. I think it needs more kick though. I like things spicy. I think I would add um, the Chinese mustard to it. I think that would be awesome. What's nice about this is it's a complete meal because you have your protein and your tofu and all your vegetables and your whole grain with your brown rice. So dinner can be served with just your fried rice and one of the egg rolls, of course. This is definitely a good plant-based meal. Another party for my taste buds. I almost forgot to mention if you like these lovely mushroom earrings I'm wearing. These are handmade by my daughter and they can be purchased on her website, which I will have that link down below. And I have already said the word walk, so Loki is getting very excited because he's already ready for his walk. <laughs>